Hello people, Namaskara and welcome back to our channel Wonder Stills. Today is our day 2 of our road trip. Currently we are in uh, Bhairat and, um, and uh, today we are heading towards uh, Rothenburg. I am not sure if I am uh, pronouncing it right. Anyways, I will be mentioning uh, the names uh, here somewhere. So, uh, Rothenburg is about uh, 175 kilometers from this location and uh, it should take 2 hours. The plan is to reach by around uh, 12.30 and uh, let's uh, explore Rothenburg today and we'll keep you all posted. Let's go. So people, time is now 12.20 and we have reached the location and uh, we have parked the car here so let's go Rothenburg is Germany's best preserved wall town during the middle ages constructed between 12th and 14th centuries So we've reached this uh, Rothenburg uh, village. This is the medieval city of uh, uh, Germany and um, yeah, so we, we took our entry ticket uh, for the uh, visit to this medieval city or a day pass. And, uh, it was charged about 12 euros per adult. Come here to Market Plaza. Um, there is street play happening. Uh, though we don't understand the language, it was good to watch uh, because of the music and the uh, soothing drums and everything they were playing. As we spend more time at the flea market, we can't help but soak in the vibrant atmosphere. The sound of laughter, the sight of people haggling and the vibrant colors of the merchandise create a lively ambience that adds to the overall experience. Um, so you have a lot of uh, these places, there's like a flea market, um, you can buy stuffs here and uh, go around. Uh, they kind of take you back to the medieval era um, and a um, lot of these uh, medieval times of kind of Viking kinds of attire uh, to shop. Our exploration of the flea market has been true adventure. Whether you are a collector of vintage items or simply seeking a unique memento, this market offers a delightful mix of surprises and memories waiting to be uncovered. So make sure to take out some time to visit the flea market. Oh, 
I can make these smaller as well if you want them smaller. Okay. And I can put another one if you need. I can make it. Is it smaller. okay? Or? I think it's it's a little big. Okay. okay. I think there's one more. And that's a little more, but that's better maybe. Yeah, I think this is pretty. Yeah, when it gets a little softer, or oh, I can cut the one underneath, then you have a little more oh, place. Okay. In the middle. Yes. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Do you have change? Uh, yes. Was was für Material ist das eigentlich? Es ist nur ein. Das schliff poliert und lackiert, aber nur von der Kuh. Von der Kuh. Since 1485, St. James Church has been a prominent part of Rothenburg skyline. Inside the church, there are colorful glass windows which tells the story of Rothenburg. With its gorgeous Gothic arches, tall pointed tower and imposing sharp windows, the church is truly an essential stop. As we wander through the cobblestone streets of Rothenburg, we can't help but be mesmerized by the preserved medieval architecture. Each turn reveals the charming houses, quaint shops, and hidden passageways. It is like stepping into a fairy tale. So we finished our lunch and we've come back to Market Plaza. Um, there's supposed to be a procession here now, um, so we're waiting for the procession to start and come here, and then um, we'll see what it is. Um, there's so many people already uh, clogging the place here, so must be interesting. Uh, but let's see. We've seen uh, people with. Uh, Uh, medieval attire uh, walking around so um, we are hopeful the procession will definitely be something interesting so stay with us we will show you the procession Locals and visitors gather to witness the procession at the lively market square. People are traditionally dressed up for the grand event. The air is filled with anticipation as the procession commences. We see a colorful array of participants, each representing a different historical era. Knights, nobles, craftsmen and musicians come together to create a visual spectacle that that transports us back in time.
So people, the procession is uh, done, and now we are heading towards the little square, which is just uh, set a walkable distance. So we are heading to the little square right now. Plon Lane or the Little Square is one of the Rothenburg's most iconic and Instagrammable spot. This narrow cobbled street with its charming half-timbered buildings and the iconic Cybers Tower is a postcard image of Rothenburg. It's truly a sight not to be missed. Rothenburg makes a great destination for a day trip. But given town's incredible history, it's also a wonderful place to spend a few days. You will feel like you have stepped back in time. No other city showcases medieval Bavarian culture in quite the same way. And if you are interested in German history, Rothenburg certainly deserves a place on your bucket list. So we are done visiting Rothenburg, uh, now we are heading back to Bayreuth. Um, we had a good day, uh, it was different um, from the time we come to Germany, this was our first road trip and it was definitely a good experience for us. Keep supporting us, um, hit the like button and share uh, the link uh, with your relatives and friends. Our journey through the medieval charm of Rothenburg has been truly magical. Thanks for joining us and until next time, keep exploring and peace.